Now, what have the Romans ever done for us? Well, deep in the Dorset countryside, they left a villa teeming with mosaic floors and artefacts. It's thought to have stood from sometime around the year 100 AD, right up to 500 AD, long after the Romans left Britain, of course. For the past two summers, amateur archaeologists have been uncovering its secrets, and Steve Humphrey is there for us tonight. Steve, was this uh, all a bit of a Roman des res then? Certainly was, Tony. This is the Roman equivalent of one of those massive houses that you get down at Sandbanks in Poole today. It was certainly stylish with a capital S. It had these fantastic mosaics. They really would have taken an awful lot of time to put these together. Now, as you mentioned, it's reckoned that this huge villa was built almost 2,000 years ago. Archaeologists say that the huge Roman villa that stood on this site was built for a very wealthy family who could afford the finest luxuries. The remains of the building lay hidden and forgotten for centuries. But over the past three years, the site has been excavated by volunteers from the East Dorset Antiquarian Society. For Len Norris, it's been a labour of love. I think it's absolutely fascinating, not just for the ac academic side of it, just the sheer sort of detective work involved. Sue and Ian came to visit on an open day and decided to get involved. It's just pretty unbelievable around, I think. You, you sort of you can't quite take it in sometimes. You're looking at this, and it's, some of the pottery finds on the table, which I think you'll see later, the, the work is so fine, it's, it's quite incredible. It's like a treasure hunt without, without too much treasure and more, more rocks and mud, really. But <laughs> it is very enjoyable. The villa was discovered after a local farmer started ploughing up Roman building materials. On the site, they've discovered the remains of ovens, a bath, plenty of bones and the beautiful mosaics. The Roman road is just over the horizon and this house smacks of what I call Roman bling. It was a family that was very wealthy and they wore their wealth on their building. This land is wealthy. It can be used to generate a large amount of profit, and they spent their profit building this rather nice country villa. Further work on the Roman villa will take place next year. After that, this very special site will be covered up. You know, the volunteers here really have been working hard to excavate what is a pretty enormous site just up the road from Puddletown. As I was mentioning before, they are finding Roman artefacts virtually every day which are helping to tell the story of this site. While we have been here today, a couple of significant things have been found. Let's have a look in this finds basket here. Now, with me is uh, Lillian Ladle. Now, Lillian, this um, piece of pottery here, if I can just lift it up carefully and give it to you. That was found by Len a bit earlier on today. What's that? It's the bottom of a pot. Oh, it's yeah. the bottom. And it, the top has been chopped off and it's probably been used for a little bowl. Oh, fantastic. And also, very interesting, a Roman coin. So if we take that out of its um, plastic pocket there, um, you found um, a number of these on the yeah, site. Yeah, we've had quite a few. You anticipate finding coins on yeah. Roman villas, so they're not, right. it's, it's not unusual. Okay. Um, and the date of this thing is probably about 350. Right. Okay. And you've also found, I know, this piece of pottery which comes from Paul Harbour. You reckon they made about a million of those? Uh, they, and t they expect that there was about a million of these pots being shift, shipped out of the river okay. on an annual basis. And what is absolutely fantastic, can you show us your Roman needle? Look at that. Isn't that spectacular? That looks as though it's fresh out of the packet. It certainly does. And I think in any lady's sewing box today, if they do knitting, they have a wool needle which looks just like that. Have you been really excited by taking part in this excavation? This has been, it's been phenomenally exciting. Every day you come in and you really do not know what is going to come up. And literally until just, what, a few years ago, nobody knew no. this was here? No, no, not, not a clue. And what happens next? What happens next? Well, we've got a couple more weeks to do some work, to finish off the season, and we'll be back for a... A very short season next year. And as I was saying in the film, eventually this site will be covered up. Unfortunately it will, unless we can find a sponsor or a donor with millions of pounds. <laughs> but unfortunately these days, you know, this is this is this is the fact.
Lillian, thank you very much indeed. Well, it really has been a day of discoveries um, on this site near Puddletown. Very fascinating to learn about what the Romans were doing nearly 2,000 years ago. Tony, back to you. Steve, we're equally fascinated in the studio. It looks like it's been a real day of uh, discovery down there in, uh, in Puddletown. Fascinating stuff. I love all that, uh, that history.